Hi guys, um, I'm outside today again because it's really, really gorgeous and really, really warm in here actually. Uh, which is quite unfair actually, the weather, seeing as when you were over here for the entire week it just kind of rained and when we went out it was horrible and wet. That's a bit miserable. It's nice to see the two of you again. Um, one of the main reasons I'm outside actually is so that I can have an excuse to wear these sunglasses. Uh, I'm wearing sunglasses because I accidentally shaved off half of my eyebrows. I'm not exactly sure how well you can see this, but they're both kind of gone. See, what happened was, this was in the morning and I was really, really tired. And I don't do well in the morning, so I went to shave the beard, trim my beard with the electric razor thing there. Just trim my beard, and then I went to do my eyebrows because I have to shave my eyebrows because they're very long. I looked like I had no about it. I didn't. I went to do my eyebrows, but I didn't change the setting on it. So I just went, mm -hmm. oh crap, and half of my eyebrow was missing. Then, in my sleep deprived state, I thought the sensible course of action was to shave off half of the other one to even them up. I later realised that this was a really terrible idea. And so I've taken to wearing these sunglasses around most places I go, so people don't go there. Weird guys with eyebrows. I've actually been quite busy this week. Um, obviously on Monday, I tried to watch the Transit of Venus. Uh, was that Monday? I think that was Monday. We, we tried anyway, and it was cloudy and rubbish, which sucked. Uh, but we played around with non the fluids. Actually, big thanks to Alex Gilbert, because he filmed that video, edited that video, and posted it on YouTube for me. I didn't actually do any work there, so thank you very much. And thanks to Harry, because he knew about me. Uh, then I went to my friend Sarah's birthday party on Wednesday, and he was there. Um, a cake that I made, which was actually really rubbish, and looked like it had semen on it. And then on Friday, we decided it would be a good idea to have a Harry Potter marathon. Me and some friends, Alex and Harry, and then a couple of my other friends, Dan, Nico, and Scott. Fun facts, Dan can put both his legs behind his head, Scott has a Klingon dictionary, and Nico is a farmer. It was grueling. It was, I don't know if you've ever tried it before, but it's seriously painful and difficult. I mean, Scott couldn't walk by the end of it. It was just, oh my word. But fun, really fun, but really hard work, and not something we're gonna do again. We finished, and then Gilbert suggested, oh, I've got a great idea, how about we do James Bond next? And I was like, James Bond's like, 22 films. Eight was bad enough. Did you know that The Chamber of Secrets is the longest Harry Potter film? I found that really weird. It's one of the shortest books, but it's the longest film. Quite bizarre. Definitely doesn't feel like the longest stuff. By the time you're at the eighth one, you're kind of like, ah, kill me now. <sighs> That's what I've been up to. Uh, I've got my last two exams. Uh, over the next two days, Tuesday I've got chemistry, Wednesday I have maths, my last one, finally. It's also my birthday, so you know. Feel free to send me presents, or whatever. Anyway, I am seriously overheating in here, so I'm going to go and have a nice cold glass of something. Um, it's great to see you a lot again, and I look forward to whatever you've been doing. Have a nice week.